Hey guys, I'm here. Welcome back for episode 22 of season three of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. This is the season finale. Next week, we will finally be in season four. I don't know if I'm ready for this episode, to be honest, because the last episode gave me plenty of anxiety. And after this whole weekend of Arcane, I've already had enough of that. On top of reliving my, all my recordings of Cobra Kai season six, part two that I recorded two weeks ago. I'm finally getting around to editing those, as you guys have probably seen by this point. And yet again, more anxiety. Yay! <laughs> and now you're gonna throw me into this pit of dread as Fitz is wearing the jacket and Fitz has the cross. So let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just, let's just ruin my day. All right, guys, that all said, if you want to see the full and three action, check it out over on Patreon or for a member of the channel, gets you access as well. It is a watch along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up the time codes for actually the entire episode. Over there, you get the same thing for all the other shows and movies we cover on the channel. You also get to suggest and vote on movies we react to each month. It's just a great way to support the channel, help us do the things we do over here. But the other day, I really appreciate the joyous reaction. So at least leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Huge shout out to the team over at Prepper for helping me edit down these highlights for you guys here on YouTube. And with that all said and out of the way, Let's go ahead and hop into episode 22, Ascension, right? Because we're going up into space and to ascend and then kaboom. Please, take me back. Interesting. <laughs> He's like, wait, hmm? <laughs> Your name, something uh, pretty. Wait, does no, he not remember? Wait, wait hold on, I'm guy, confused. Uh, flower. Well, then again, so he it, ooh. He's, he is pretty as the sky, something like a flower. But I mean, he landed on the right, right part. What? Oh, wait, what the hell? Can he not sway her? What did S.H.I.E.L.D. do to you? It's not what S.H.I.E.L.D. did to me, it's what that creature stole from you. Wait, oh, oh, You're, she's immune. Please. Just. She really does want it. Sorry, Daisy. Wow. They could have set that up more. <laughs> I'm just saying, because that was not... Oh. Oh, um... <laughs> you can't take me, so I'm gonna take you! <laughs> what the... F what the fuck? And that's me in the bathroom most nights, man. But she did what I love. Good hand acting. Was that Daisy? I mean, what else would it be? Good God. What the hell are your primitives capable of? Well, it's hard to say to them. I mean, these creatures are in their infancy. You did create them, didn't you? It was either that or be eaten. I never would have created something so unsophisticated. I mean, the crudeness of these creatures is really quite... Go on. Heartbreaking. We'll discuss the consequences of your science fair later. Right now, we need to know exactly what we're against. <laughs> Did he at least get first place? Did he get the blue ribbon? They don't exhibit any original thoughts of their own. They have memories? They possess memories of previous talents, weapon skills, and the like. We have 28 X Shield agents that know this base inside out. Oh! Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that's not great. I didn't even think about that. You may not have to. Oh God, are we having a zombie? Oh, I mean, it was already kind of a zombie outbreak. In the Lock down the They're in the vents? And rendezvous in my office. Lincoln and I will protect the nerve center. So I'll just stay here? Yeah. You can make yourself useful. Do something. Mop. Sweep. Daisy took the module into the plane. To stop Hive. You think that she can do it? Get us some rope in case she can't. <laughs> That's an interesting image. Oh, he's doing the DBZ block, I see. That's the most powerful block. Yo! God, that was sick. God damn, they are popping off with this one. That may have been one of the most unnecessary superhero landings I've ever seen, though. <laughs> God damn, she has given him the smackdown. Really shaking things up, huh? Come on, everybody knows you go for the tape measure. 
But damn, those reward skills are kicking in right there. That flip away of the knife. <laughs> Dude, scrambled hive is great. I don't want you to die. I want you to suffer. See, that's in line what we saw last episode, as well as all this anger. I'm sorry you won't feel our connection. Pieces solving the puzzle. <laughs> it's like this is just a mild inconvenience. Oh, there we go. Yeah, why why even entertain the knife? Just do that. Just keep doing that. <laughs> I must continue without you. Ugh. I never liked the 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 bone crunchies. They God damn it. Are you serious? Her one weakness. The <laughs> punch to the back of the head. Okay, well, we're loading up the Zephyr. So, she, uh, and she's in the containment unit. Armory's up ahead. I'll secure the weapons rack, but... Oh, no. Ah! No, 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 no. She took all the shots for him. Wow. <laughs> How many actually landed on her, though? Their spread was awful, thank God. <laughs> that could have been way worse. Help me get her into the workshop. They're right behind us. <sighs> this is awful, man. Close the door. Dude, this seriously did just turn straight up into like a zombie episode, almost. Yo-Yo took a bullet in the gut for me. A bullet. Damn, they really did have shitty aim. <laughs> He's a big target. I'm getting like PTSD for Left 4 Dead. Okay. What? Okay, I thought he was gonna bonk into that. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. We're still riding this bloody space elevator. How are we supposed to connect to all our new brothers and sisters if we're blown ourselves to bits? We'll drop in the containment module to safety before it detonates. A little bit of a hangover, it seems. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Oh, shit. Let's go. But shit, the jacket. I got lost and swept up in everything. I completely forgot about that. Fuck. It's gonna come off. He's gonna lose it. It's gonna get ripped off of him. He's gonna be fine. They get out of here. You light things up? I got it. No, that's not right. She's bleeding way too fast. The metabolism must have increased it. Compensate for inhuman speed. Oh no. We're trapped in this room, so we need to stop the bleeding with something in here. Mm. Uh, Lincoln could cauterize it, even though that wouldn't stop any internal- I didn't say it was a good idea, but it may be our best. It could kill her. We can do better. Not in the time we have. I mean, Lincoln could do that himself. <laughs> Technically. Hold this. I mean, it's not gonna stop any internal bleeding that could be in there. Oh. Oh. Uh, 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 um, how bad's their eyesight? Maybe that's why they only <laughs> landed one shot. Turn your back to the door. Fate. I'm confused. What about the heat? Is that why they couldn't see her? The reverse of Predator? <laughs> Instead of cool in your body heat, she just blended in with the rest of the room? Maybe? This is very impressive. This is a young Scotsman's work. Of course. <laughs> Do you know if he has a working model yet? <laughs> Uh oh. Must be looking for another way in. God, this is terrifying. Love it though. Oh, I was like, 
<laughs> I was like, why did he randomly fall? What are you doing here? Grabbing you, taking back the Zephyr. No, Fitz, don't open that. I should be in here. No liability. Okay, well, I think there's some weapons in the back. Kind of surprised she didn't take note of the jacket. The power was off. Oh, the heating system's old school. It doesn't need electricity. But they crank up the heat. Why would they do that? Trying to flush us out? Why else? Nope, that was, uh, that was Simmons. She must have figured it out. Their eyes were damaged, clouded over. I suspected they could see somehow, but it must be... Infrared. Must be infrared. Clever girl. Oh, um, mm hmm Well, Jurassic Park right there. Which, this is also kind of Jurassic Parky. Just instead of raptors, it's a rapture. I've been awake way too long. God, they are creepy, dude. Especially like uh, when when you light them like that. Even when I tried killing him, he beat me. My powers are nothing compared to Ive. I don't give a damn about your powers. They're not what made you an agent. Mm -hmm. I did. Aww. You have no idea what I did. You did a lot of bad things. All you can do now is balance the scales, do some good. You want to give up? Live in a box, go ahead. But that hurt stays in there with you, believe me. She would know. I may not always show it, but I... Oh! Fucking Nick. Christ! I swear, I swear, I have a weapon in place on this plane that's designed to kill you. So if you shoot- Nice bluff. I swept the plane. Didn't see anything. You didn't see them either, dude. If you saw everything, you would have found them before they stumbled into this room. We don't want to hurt you if we don't have to. People that are on their sway, they're not in control of their actions. They're not bad people. Well, except you. You are a murderous one for all this. Oh! Whoa! Holy shit! Camouflaged gun? Holy crap! That was so good! Let's go, Fitz! Wow! Shaking. She's going through withdrawals. Plus, the Zephyr can handle high altitude, but it's not designed for it. Sub freezing outside, which also means air's getting thin in here. So we should limit our movements and try and keep warm. No, what? No, no, shit! Fuck! No! Toss it! Put it anywhere else! God, I got so excited for a second. I thought, I thought he was just taking it off. You're all right. What happened? Uh, Mac lit me on fire. It's a long story. Mm -hmm. It's really not, but. <laughs> what about the underground tunnels? Seal shot. I have a way. Oh, that's nifty. Put a few new tricks up my sleeve. Literally. Remote Quinjet. Hell yeah. Oh, it's shit. That's handy. <laughs> handy. I didn't mean that one. But then I take the Quinjet to intercept this effort on my own. Sir, I have to get to Fitz. You can't expect us to just. It's go not up for discussion. If they end up. Fulfilling that dream that Daisy had last episode, that will be uh, kind of crazy. Get them out, get them home. But I'm not going to lose anyone else. Hmm. Coulson's the best. I have to say, I really enjoy the way you do things. What, are you going to hang out? You going to hang around? Join the team? I, I, I wouldn't be against some more John Hanna. I'm starting to think clearly. Unfortunate. When we blow this thing, Three continents worth of people are going to end up looking like these buggers, yeah? Even the ladies? Look, I don't want to seem ungrateful, <laughs> you know, pumped. Can we still look at tweaking the formula? I'm just trying to manage expectations moving forward. It's done. Let's tell Gear to prepare the containment module. About that, though. What is this? Uh, that's a dead guy. Find them. I love he's just getting so exasperated with all of this. Yeah, the Quinjets fly themselves, but the Coulson must have called one too. They're ducks in a barrel until they deplane, though. Uh-oh. Let's just hope whoever's on that Quinjet has an idea about what happens next. I know exactly what happens next. 
You think you know what happens next. Just take it off. <laughs> Please. Or put it on somebody else. Put it on him. You came alone. I gave the order for the others to stay behind. I don't need any more agents dying from my lapses in judgment. Oh shit, he's got the jack. He's got- Fuck! He's got one too! He doesn't have the necklace though. You plan on blowing this plane up with both of us on board. They won't end this. Millions will still be turned. Yeah, they won't be handsome. But at least they won't be swayed and stuck with your winning personality. <laughs> I hunted you down and killed you, unleashing this ward reboot nightmare hell beast on the planet. You give yourself too much credit. Uh, uh, You're hiding something. A few stowaways, yeah. They probably already made their presence felt. I'm just here to offer a helping hand. Pun absolutely intended. <laughs> or have you given me exactly what I need to finally defeat them? Your body. Oh. Uh, uh, yo! And march down to announce to the shield agents that I finally succeeded in. We finally got to see his face. God, that looks so good. On two sides of the same coin, I'm calls are commanders leading soldiers. The only difference is when you give an order, the followers have no choice but to obey. But when I gave my team the order to stay behind, they just wouldn't listen. <laughs> Got out. <laughs> right before docking was complete, climbed along the top of the fuselage to a maintenance hatch. I'm just a distraction. Let's fucking Oh! I said I was willing to die, sure, but I certainly don't want to. Oh my god, it's just like the fucking basement! He took a play out of that one dude's book! I always wanted to do this. Yep. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> Let's fucking go! I love you so much, Coulson. Oh my god. Shit! Everybody's wearing this godforsaken Satan jacket! God damn. That works. When in doubt, zap him out. No, did you see that look on her face? Lincoln. Oh. Oh. Shit. God, it can literally be anybody right now. Is he okay? Lincoln. Stay I mean, with give us. it. Tell me he's going to be okay. Why did you put that? Why did you put it on? Why did you why did you put it on? She put the necklace on. Why would you do that? I'm sorry. I never meant to turn against you. I don't blame you. You weren't yourself. Mm. Did I ruin this? Us? You didn't do anything, man. This is not your fault. We need to work on ourselves before we can talk about us. Mm. I can't live with it. I remember that pain. Sick with guilt. Anger. He knows he's been there. I know why you went to him. I've been through it. I've hit bottom. I know what it's like to be so addicted to something that you do anything to get her back. Colson's gonna need your help. I don't know what he's playing, but... I do. He had the Quinjets fly here remotely, right? So he probably... Set new coordinates for outer space. The Quinjet will disconnect from the Zephyr and then fly straight up until it leaves the atmosphere. If we can steal the warhead and load it onto the Quinjet somehow, it'll blow in the... Vacuum of space and the pathogen will disperse harmlessly. I know what you're thinking. You said you can't live with what you've done. But you have to. <laughs> now all we have to do is decide who goes and who stays to hold off a wave of primates and hide the terrible. <laughs> well, I'd like to be in a fray. Oh! Standing for a reason. What's this? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Dude, he made his own shotgun axe. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, just giving them the hand. Love it. This is not gonna go the way you think, Daisy. I know it's not. <laughs> the 
That is sick, man. No. We went for Daisy. Ah! I get that it's probably heavy, but I mean, she's got a hand on her power. She could juice it just enough to safely nudge it. I believe that. I'd just be so scared to set that thing off. Pilot coordinates have been set. This thing is going to outer space. With you in it. Word is still here. Just manually override the controls. That's why I had to go. I shorted the manual controls. Oh. Wait, the necklace. Where's the necklace? Where's the necklace? Well, she, wait, she still has to see. Oh, she's not wearing it anymore. But I thought I could have swore she had to be there to witness it. I mean, that's been the rule up until this point. Oh God, is it, did she witness it from a camera? What are you doing? This is crazy. This is my purpose. Why, why would you? I was the only one who could fry the manual controls to make sure this worked. To make sure you didn't try to do this yourself. No, no. It's supposed to be me. I saw the future. This is my destiny. Yeah. Sorry. I stole it from you. Wow. I could have swore part of the rules was the person that had the vision was present for the act. You can't just die for me like this. It's, it's wrong. Saving the girl I love in the world at the same time feels pretty right to me. <laughs> you can't do this. I wouldn't have thought so either, but here I am. No, you, you, can't, you can't do this. Not like this. I can't just... I have too much I want to say. Me too. Come to think of it, I just did. I mean, I tried it. We didn't even realize it. I never. Realize what? It's the first time I said I love you. Daisy? Oh. Try to sway me if you want, but there's no turning this thing back around. I can see that. I think we're already going to share a connection as we experience the one thing that's eluded me all these years. Oh, death. You piece of shit. Death. That sucks, man. Lincoln's a fucking real one. Turn it back. Turn it back. Yeah, remote access is offline. You have to help me, Colson. Even then, the conjure is not designed to maneuver in space, Daisy. No. We have to at least try. He's paying for my mistake. No. He's paying for all our mistakes. Well, I got to see the world. It's beautiful. This is a scene I would not have expected to play out. I only wanted to make it better. Mm. To feel a connection, but you must feel it already. To sacrifice for them. With all their flaws. They're only human. And here we are. How do you, how do you just, um, uh, what the fuck? Did she just leave S.H.I.E.L.D. and go, well, rogue? I wanted to thank you. The money was too generous to help us relocate. I was treated as a pariah back home. Hmm. Do you like animals? Yeah. No. <laughs> Your dad made this. It's a robin. Thank you. She's 
here. All units, move in. Go, go, go. You've been a real friend. What has happened in these six months? I actually wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine. He's a practitioner here. I think you'd get along. Oh. He likes animals too. You're too kind. Aw, choking her up with her dad. <laughs> I'm just keeping a promise. I am assuming that's who she meant. She's ro really rocking that edgy gothic uh, hacker look. Um, she's not about to neo it. Yo, that was some prototype shit right there. That'll take us off the trail. You can call in the National Guard, yeah. Where will we be assigned? I guess we'll have to wait and see. What the fuck happened? Welcome back, Dr. Radcliffe. Oh, I was like, where were we? Where's my boy Fitz? Did he get the invite? Leopold had to decline. He's organizing a surprise for Gemma. Hmm. We're fond of agents Fitz and Simmons. That I am. The two of them together, and you've got a younger me. Plus, would have been fitting. This is based on an old S.H.I.E.L.D. program. Um. Is that what we're celebrating today? The inclusion of your new colleague Fitz on this project? No, Ada. They... Today's your birthday. What? Our first synthetic, I guess. Oh my God, man. That was, that was a cruel ass episode. It was fun. Like as we were kind of throwing a wrench in every one of Hive's plans. Like that was cathartic as all hell. That was so enjoyable to watch. Them all putting on the fucking jacket and getting on this plane was cruel and unusual and rude. But damn it didn't make for good television. Fuck man, Lincoln, man. <sighs> that was so beautifully handled there. The way they kind of played into his past, his his empathy and able his his ability to understand what she's going through because he's been there. You know, it just it was <sighs> It was just it was just too good the way they executed all that and it was just so emotional. I will still say that based on what we saw before, the way that vision works, every example we had, it was through the lens of whoever was touched. They didn't have to be the one that died, but they witnessed a death. But she wasn't there to witness that. So that angle we got was from who? Whose eyes was that even from? Like, it just kind of, I don't know. It, it, I, it just makes me kind of go, hmm. But I do feel like that is a little bit, to my understanding, a bit of a plot hole. Everything else, the impact was still 1000% there. The entire way through, man. Like, everybody got to kind of have their moment in this. May coming in, beating dude's ass, tripping his ass, getting up there, getting the jump, having that heart-to-heart -heart moment with Daisy about like why she's here, why she's still putting up the good fight and all that. Fits with the fucking camo gun. I fucking loved that. That was so hype. Mac getting to build his own like legit shotgun axe. Like that was just like a on the fly, like, well, this is all I have to work with. Let's go back in that episode before. And then he's like, you know what? Let's just make this a full on thing. I'm going to I'm going to R&D an actual assault <laughs> shotgun axe. And we got to see it in action. In action. And that wasn't that good. <sighs> Colson got to do the fucking hologram thing and even got to, you know, fucking fist some people a couple of times. The fucking Obi-Wan Kenobi thing. Again, just the way we just fucking made Hive look a fool was so good. Simmons figuring out how to blind these motherfuckers as they're running around, learning that they're, because of their deformities, before their new forms, like, you know, their faces are stuck, like, like they're fucking, they ate like a whole bag of warheads all at once. On top of that, their eyes are sunken in, 
and glossed over so they like can't see like we can which is why that worked in that room why it was right there staring right at her but it couldn't see her she calls it season heat and she put that together turned up the heat in the whole building and blinded them all allowing them to just navigate through this whole thing like the way everything was structured in this the way the team used all of their different abilities and just fucking yo-yo dude yo-yo taking one for the team taking one for her man <sighs> God. i'm glad she's okay though i mean i guess i'm assuming she's okay by the end of this um the only casualty that was explicitly at least expressed was definitely lincoln and I was kind of wondering about where that was going to go after his whole little conversation with Coulson about leaving S.H.I.E.L.D. once this was all said and done. You know, initially I thought maybe Hive was going to be the one that somehow ended up in the jacket or the point of view was just the jacket was off and floating on its own. It was just like the POV thing because I was so fixed on that being something they were going to utilize to trick us, the audience. You know, there's just a lot of ways I was just kind of figuring trying to figure out how this was going to go but like then they had that conversation and all that and then you know obviously with the way that they were you know kind of diving into this turmoil that daisy is going through one with the withdrawals and then just the immense frustration and guilt for all of the actions that she committed while swayed she was like okay i've got this all here i've got the jacket i've got the necklace I guess that means it's me. Let me correct everything that I did by sacrificing myself. And he knew instantly what she was thinking when she wasn't looking or paying attention. Nab that necklace. Fucking hero, dude. Fucking hero. I'm going to miss Lincoln, man. I thought he was a really, really cool character. Complex. You know, a little chaotic. But that's that was the fun. I loved it. He, he added a good spark. To the whole team dynamic. It's just, man. And whatever happened after this, Daisy's running around, crashing buildings, causing earthquakes, helping, you know, people that have befall who have had this ill fate befallen to them because of whatever's happened with these inhumans. Um, you know, helping the one dude, the guy that had the visions and all of that, the his wife and kid. And you know, brought that Robin wood carving back to her to kind of close that loop. And then, you know, hey, there's a cool, like, uh, veterinarian down the road. You can go hit him up, you know, pointing her to her, her dad, which is kind of fun. That was a nice little callback. I do want to go back and see if I can look at what was on those boards. And it doesn't seem like Coulson and them are working. Did I understand that right? They're, they're, it didn't seem like they were working for S.H.I.E.L.D. anymore. They said something about where they were going to be assigned. So did in this interim, S.H.I.E.L.D. also get shut down as well? All right, I want to look at these headlines. Quake, not a natural... Quake, not a natural disaster. It was a person. Blah, blah, blah. Crazy thing. Bridge collapsed, car, many witnesses felt the quake, similar to events, no one, no trace, without trace, full field distance from. So uh, just a random quake with no epicenter at all. But what was it? What was the target? It was just a bridge was taken out. According to this article, she was being tracked by the ATCU. Maybe they just folded into the ATCU officially to investigate the manner of which the bridge fell. Oh, no, never mind. It just, it had already fallen and they were on their way there to investigate it. People went to the hospital as a result of the collapse, but no signs of an actual earthquake. Quake takes down bank. Downtown branch left in ruins from earthquake. What is she doing? What the fuck? A bridge, a bank. Hero or rogue? Police set up citywide search. Who is Quake? Finally, finally got the name. Finally got the name. Gosh, she's been all over the place. North Dakota experiences first earthquake in 40 years. Earthquake centered in Fargo shakes up North Dakota. Man, what the fuck has she got herself into, man? Oh, I guess that's all questions to be answered in season four, I presume. What a wild way to end this, too, man. One thing that's left up in the air for me by the end of this, too, is uh, how are we getting Brett Dalton back? <laughs> Because I'm still convinced that 
we're not saying goodbye to that actor. I, I don't I don't believe it. Or fuck, who knows? Maybe he comes back as a synth created by John Hanna for all we know. I don't know. I just would be I would be really surprised if he was actually no longer a regular cast member. Despite obviously his body being completely destroyed and him actually being dead for the majority of the season. It's the Marvel Universe. You can find a way. There's all kinds of timey wimey, sciencey sciencey fucking shenanigans that you could get up to. Hell, magic. There's all kinds of avenues to explore to bring that fucker back. Because he's so fun to watch. He's so fun to hate. And he just, his performance as Hive, who got to kind of be a lot of different people at once, it was so much fun. Like that whole sequence again where he got scrambled and even like as he was like acclimating back to no longer being scrambled was still fun. Like as he was slowly like getting better, he was still kind of looping in from here and there. Like his whole little like trying to like piece together who was standing in front of him when Daisy was like putting herself up on a little silver platter there. You know, he was like, oh, who, what was your name again? And then he started cycling through these these things that sounded about right until he finally landed on it. You know, I thought that was really cool. And then the reveal that Lash, when he did what he did, not only removed the sway, the parasite from her, but made it to where she can no longer be reinfected. And I get that, like, you want to just get rid of that pain, but that's just so counter to everything in the episode up until that point, which I guess can be realistic, but as a viewer and as a narrative, it didn't really work all that well. And I was talking to somebody about that uh, in the last episode as well, or after the fact, and apparently um, Chloe Bennett feels very similarly about that 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 story thread and has expressed as such in there that it didn't really flow that well. And I, I really do think that that element didn't really, like it worked in the way that it like surface level connected with all of the buildup that we got from Lincoln, like that was built up really nicely. It's just like, it would just, it just happened so fast with, with, with Daisy. And I don't know if there was like some behind the scenes stuff that kind of got in the way of that or whatever, but it did, it just didn't, it just didn't line up. And then when she couldn't get connected, she just went into kill mode, which again, just seems like we could have just done that, <laughs> you know, which, cause that's what it was setting up. Yeah, it just felt like a fake out for a fake out. It was like, oh, shocker ending before we go into the finale, you know, twist for the twist sake when it could have just been, you know, like carrying on that rage that they were building all episode and then lead right into her facing off against Ty. It just seemed like they didn't know how to leave us at the end of that episode and needed a little like a little hook at the end. Like you could wrestle with the guilt, with the need, with the desire and all of that. But it, I, I feel like we maybe we needed another episode exploring that or they needed to spend more time showing how badly she was being drawn back because they didn't do that at all <laughs> until that one scene. I know someone tried to like, I think saw in the comments, somebody was trying to explain addiction to me. And I was like, dude, I I, I know. <laughs> I've, had, I, I've been around people who have been addicts of various substances. I, I understand. As far as that goes on her part, I don't think they, I don't think they did a good job getting across what they were trying to, to make that hook work. And that's just a small, a small part of this too, because there's so much going on, both with Daisy as a character and her relationships within the group, with Lincoln, with everybody, with Hive, like all those interactions, and then what everybody else is doing. There's just so much else that is so fucking good. Again, I, I would put that in a nitpick category, and I feel like that could have been fleshed out a little bit better. But everything else was firing, I think, on all cylinders. I'm excited to find out, though. I'm real curious and real intrigued after seeing this, like, six-month jump. And they're hunting her down, and she's attacking these landmarks. And we're trying to understand why and what she's doing. She's hacking again. Redirected funds to this family. She's kind of turned vigilante. Maybe she's taking May and Lincoln's words to heart. Maybe she's trying to put more good back into the world, and maybe this is how she feels she needs to do it. We also don't know what happened with S.H.I.E.L.D. after all of this. Was there any blowback for Talbot and their actions or whatever? I don't know. Seems to be like something happened quite clearly, or she just couldn't stay there anymore. We'll have to wait and see. But guys, we have officially knocked out another season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., 
And we are moving on next week into season four. But in the meantime, I want to know what you guys thought. What did you think of this finale? How do you feel about all of the different things at play here? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. If it did, leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. Remember, if you want to see the following three action, as always, you can check it out over on Patreon or for a member of the channel, get you access as well. And speaking of before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Many share it. Your course, God, Robert Anguillono, Jeffrey Yell, Jake Cottrell, Eric Official, Casey Wood, Russell Crockett, and Watchtower. Thank you guys so much for continued support. But that's it for you guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.